Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Keelan Anderson with Poor Special Events. And I am so thankful for all of your um, subscriptions, your comments, your likes, and your questions that you have been providing on this channel. Uh, it is super helpful and engaging and I'm able to share uh, more about what we do, why we do it, um, give you kind of some answers to those questions and the best way that I can. And again, I just want to preface um, these videos by saying, you know, you can take my advice and kind of run with it. Um, you can use it kind of as fuel for, you know, things you want to expand on in your own business or if you're getting ready to create a business um, in this mobile industry. <clears throat> but um, the things that I share are just things that have worked for me or, you know, are working in our area and they may be different where you are. So for this video today, um, one of the questions that came up in a previous video was um, more specific uh, communication about how we break down our packages. So our mobile beverage packages, what they look like, what we offer, how we do it. I have seen um, in the the mobile bartending community space or the mobile business space, um, different ways that you can strategize your pricing. Um, I think there's multiple ways that you could do this. I think I have done things differently year after year and I'm kind of finding the area that works best for me as well. And the things that I'm doing now may not be the things that I started with. So if you have to kind of test the waters as you're building your business, growing your business, um, things might change for you as well. For us right now, I kind of wanted to go over what our standard options are, what we offer, <clears throat> and kind of give you an idea on what those price ranges can look like. I think the biggest thing that I want to preface this with is that you need to know what things cost. So before you can just give a price, um, what is it going to cost you? If you have set up your business structure, whether you're using an LLC, whether you're using um, like a self-employed, however, however you set up your business structure, um, and you are buying uh, consumables. So say you're offering cups, you're offering garnishes, you're offering um, utensils, like if it's for bartending, bartending utensils. If you're a mobile coffee business, um, you're, you know, you have to buy all of the syrups, you have to buy the coffee beans, all of that stuff. You need to know what those things cost, what your bottom dollar cost is, know those pricing it's like the science and the math behind it to be able to get a price per cup or a price for your service that actually generates profit and some of this can seem tedious but if you don't have those ground floor things done first you're setting yourself up for failure so some of these things cannot be overlooked when i started my business um and i know a lot of you and this is probably going to be a topic for a different video. A lot of you are saying, I want the horse trailer bar. I want the coffee shop, you know, mobile coffee shop. I want this trailer, that trailer, you know, I see them all over the place for sale for tens of thousands of dollars. I'm not saying that they're not great. They're not beautiful. They're not, you know, good craftsmanship. Uh, I did not start out with any of that because I didn't have that money laying around. I was starting a business to fulfill a need with a skill that I had bartending. Um, to just make profit. Once I started generating profit, once I had cash saved up, once I had all of my business documents in order, um, I then utilized business credit, business credit card, to purchase my first trailer, to build my first trailer from scratch with my husband. So I did not start right out of the gate with these big fancy trailers. Another thing for you to know is not only knowing what things cost, but knowing your area. If you are a mobile bartending business or a mobile uh, coffee shop, or what is your demographic? Where do you wanna work? Where do you wanna set up shop? If you are doing bartending and your ideal clients are for weddings, you're gonna wanna look at wedding venues in your area. Do they already have bars? Do they have an outdoor space that a trailer could, could come to? Um, because a lot of your clients in your local area, if you don't want to have to travel very far and they already have beautiful bars and their indoor venues, you might not need that trailer. So really important to know what venues are around you, what kind of, um, events you want to serve, what, what's your ideal client. Those are all important things. Like I said, I started by just selling my service. 
I personally would show up. I had bartending utensils. I had a cooler. I had an ice, you know, like the ice pick. Um, if they wanted cups, I'd provide the plastic cups, garnishes, those kinds of things. And I would charge like a flat fee, um, a few hundred dollars. And then it was just me. Like that was, that was how I started. I did a lot of them, saved that money. And then we started building the business from there. Now our packages include a couple different things. I like to say that they are a la carte options. I believe that there is no one size fits all. I think that our clients have a variety of needs and um, based on the venues that we serve, which there's quite a few different ones, um, based on the venues that we serve, we need to be able, there we go, sorry about that. We need to be able um, to be flexible. So um, our standard package, just that, that basic service, starts with your first bartender with those utensils, not consumables. Consumables have gone through the roof post COVID. Did you realize that a clear plastic cup, even if you buy them in bulk of 10,000, they're still about 11 cents a cup. Don't give them away for free. Um, so your first bartender shows up for their standard fee. They come with a cooler, they come with bottle openers, knives, you know, all those utensils to make and serve drinks. But if you want us to bring consumables, garnishes, mixers, all that, that is a per person price that is added on to your custom quote. Then we have the rest of our add-ons. So of course you can get other bartenders brought in. Um, we start with like our head bartender that starts at that higher price. Because for me, if we are just bringing in, if they end up saying, you know, I, this is all great, but I don't need this. I just need a bartender. It needs to be worth our time. Okay. If we're filling that slot on the calendar, we need to make sure we have that, that minimum amount that we are looking for. The next thing is our add-ons. So those mixers or the consumables, and if they choose all of it, then they get another discounted rate. So for example, you could say, you know, our mixer package is a couple dollars per person and they get a choice of six mixers, meaning like your soda options, your juice options, your seltzer options, whatever they get to pick. Um, and then if they choose consumables as well, so say, yes, we want you to bring all the napkins, the cups, the straws. We want you to bring um, any particular garnishes for our signature drinks. We want that. If they choose everything. Then you give them a dollar or two off uh, per head. And, and make it worth their while. The next thing we have are rentals and stations. So in my area, uh, sometimes it's nice to have like a, almost like a satellite bar, something small. Um, maybe they want it for their cocktail hour. They wanna have their cocktail hour outside or in a garden, or um, maybe there's like a patio area at their venue, whatever the case may be. They might want something that's a smaller bar option, not a full trailer, not as expensive, but just an extra space so that they don't feel like they're just in one space the whole night they want, you know, to go above and beyond. So we offer um, a whiskey barrel bar set up. It's mobile, it's got your two whiskey barrels, wooden top, and then we also offer a can display that goes with it. It's a two tier wooden station that has um, galvanized tubs and we can put sodas, waters, juices, beers, anything that they provide we can put that in there and we can ice it up and, and it looks nice and then it's there for them. Uh, we also offer coffee and hot tea station depending on the time of the year and their preference. Sometimes they also want to add hot cider to that um, if it's like the late fall season. We have a hydration station where they get three choices. So we either do water, lemonade, iced tea. Again, we can change up some of those options depending on what they're looking for. Sometimes, um, depending on the season, they want like a cold apple cider or they want to mix your lemonade iced tea and do like an Arnold Palmer um, or some kind of an infused water that looks really nice in the big glass canisters. We offer drink menu creation. So sometimes our clients um, don't want to, or don't have time to get creative, make their own bar menus. So we offer that because it's just something that I've always done. I've always designed them and built them. Um, so I can make them to match their theme. And that's an extra price that they could add on if they don't want to have to deal with the bar menus. We offer depending on venue and what's needed serving staff. So sometimes 
our clients will order their food, uh, like a buffet style in bulk, order trays of food. Uh, but the caterer will physically drop off all of those trays, sometimes in the hot boxes, but they don't physically stay and do the whole thing, do the setup, do the breakdown. They just offer the food. So sometimes they're looking for serving staff then to then uh, man that buffet table, keep things hot, keep things full, and then clean all that up at the end and then reset for desserts. So we do offer that depending on what is needed. And then we have our big trailer. So I do have trailers. One is a mobile keg trailer. The other one is a mobile bar that you can bartend out of. Um, we did one of each for the fact that in my area, um, a mobile keg trailer is great for, we do lots of you know benefits for people in the community. Um, uh, celebrations of life have become very um, important to people in my area. So instead of like a typical funeral, they do a celebration of life where they'll either, you know, all come together at like a camp or a property and um, they like to have the tap trailer set up. It's like a giant refrigerator. So if they're doing potlucks or things where they need to keep extra food and things cold, they can use that trailer as well to keep other items cold and secured and locked up and everything. So we did a keg trailer first and that has gone over really, really well. And then we also built a mobile bar. So we bought a utility trailer, welded a frame, and it looks like a little house with a tin roof and wood shiplap siding. And we can bartend out of that. And we do have the keg options available in that as well. Um, but that is an actual like standalone mobile bar that can wheel up. We can bartend out of it and then take it away. Now, where does all the pricing come in in these packages? Um, you know, what does that look like? So I started with just your, you know, your standard bartender. And that's just going to be a couple hundred dollars. Like they're there, they're working, um, they make their tips. And then each of these different stations, depending on what um, the client's looking for, go in range in price. So they're, they're different add-ons. We, and I think this is very important to anyone that's opening a business, mobile business, you want to have prices that reflect a range um, because sometimes people want the full thing. So typically our mobile bar, ultimate mobile bar package, depending on head count, guest count, um, either will come with one bartender or two, and then it has everything that we can include included in it. So the ultimate mobile bar will also come with a coffee and hot tea bar if needed. It will come with the hydration station if needed. It will come with um, drink menu creation. It will come with um, the consumables packages, the mixer packages. So if they choose that high end package, that full mobile bar, they only have to bring in their alcohol, which I help them figure out how much to get, where to get it, all of that stuff. And then um, I do everything else. So we literally wheel in the trailer. It has everything in it. We take whatever stock they brought, bring that over. We do our whole thing. We include all of these extra services and, and really make it its, its its own little area. It's really, really cool. And then we pack it all up and take it away. So that is like our, our highest end package. Now we can offer all of those things um, without the trailer itself as well if they don't wanna have to worry about bringing in cups, bringing in ice, bringing in mixers. And those are all things that we add on that set, that per person rate. Uh, but we try to give a range of options, all the things that we offer. And then I always say, um, as far as packages go with contracts and stuff, I always say, you know, it's not final until we have your signed contract. It's not final until we get that deposit. And it's most important to get the services that you absolutely will need now in the initial contract. You may add on services one month prior to your event if they're still available. Because at that time, we could already have the trailers rented out or we could already have certain stations rented out. Um, and if I don't have multiple of them, I can't offer that then. So those are kind of how we we break down our, our package for that, um, for bartending, what that looks like um, and, and how we go about it. Um, each conversation with each client is different. They're looking for something different um, depending on what's the theme of their event, the style of their event, what kind of venue they're using, how many guests they're going to have, and ultimately what they feel comfortable spending on their event. 
So we try and offer things that really they could pick and choose and make a package that really fits them well and they feel very comfortable uh, working with us and they're excited to work with us. And this way we, we do a range of events um, at all of our local venues that we have really good relationships with. Um, and it just makes it a much better time for us too because if we are working with the same venues over and over again, we have those relationships built. We know what each venue has and does not have, what we need to pack um, as far as like our utensils and things to bring with us to be prepared. And, um, we can make those communications with those venue owners ahead of time just to triple check that everything is good. And we have those solid relationships built. So that's kind of our package breakdown video. Um, if this was helpful or it stemmed any other questions, please leave a comment below. Um, if you found any, you know, interest in this and, and it was helpful to you, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And, uh, thanks so much for watching.